Today we're using four different methods to fade out this bright red hair dye and finding out which color stripper is the best. My color is super vivid right now, so it's the perfect time to do an experiment and see how each method can remove. So I'm starting by parting my hair in the center and detangling one side with a wide tooth comb and then doing the same to the other side and then parting each half and half to form four quadrants to test on. If you're familiar with my videos, you know I love the vitamin C method where you get pure vitamin C tablets and this time I actually have a grinder to turn them into powder instead of mashing it with a hammer in a bag like usual. So I did that and I weighed it out the amount I used for your reference since a lot of people always ask and I never know. And it ended up being exactly 60 tablets and weighs 43 grams in case you get smaller tablets. The bottle started up here and it's down to here now, so that's how much I used. And then I plopped them in the grinder, put the lid on, and turned those babies into dust. Next I added water to turn it into a homogeneous liquidy paste that's easy to spread and I used my hands to spread this on my hair and then dip the ends into the jar to get it nice and saturated and help spread it out to the top. Then I make sure that I get everything evenly and spend a while massaging it in. And I've noticed that massaging this liquid makes the biggest difference in fading the color out. So definitely take time to just massage this into your hair. And if it gets dry while you're doing that, just spray a little water and keep going. I love this method because it's so gentle on your hair. And since my hair is bleached underneath, I need to be as careful as possible when doing treatments. And after that, I just twist it into a bun and put saran wrap to seal in the moisture while I work on the rest. Next up, I'm testing out the Ion Color Brilliance hair color remover for the first time, and I used one packet of the powder in an empty applicator bottle and mixed it with four ounces of room temperature water. You need to shake to dissolve the crystals to form a gel, and they also recommend massaging with the maximum pressure of your palms and fingertips to ensure saturation. This color remover is supposed to remove two to three levels of pigment without lifting your natural hair color and is designed for oxidative and non-oxidative color, which is what I have in. It also has no ammonia, cannot overprocess, and is vegan. I noticed that the first ingredient it has is ascorbic acid in it, which is pretty much vitamin C, so it makes sense that it acts in a similar way. And they recommend covering it and exposing it to heat for 15 to 45 minutes, which I forgot to do, but I did cover it and leave it on for a long time while I did the back. They also recommend rinsing with warm water and shampoo up to three times to remove the maximum amount of color. Next, I'm trying out the Power Tools Color Out System, which removes permanent and semi-permanent hair color, is ammonia and bleach free, and says you can recolor your hair the same day. It has two four fluid ounce bottles that are step one and step two, and you need to mix equal parts of part one and two and apply it to dry hair. It also comes with bonding shampoo and conditioner and extensive instructions. <laughs> I mixed up two ounces of each, so half of each of the bottle to cover a quarter of my hair, and it takes 20 minutes to shrink the dye molecules, allowing you to wash them away. Afterwards, you're supposed to rinse and shampoo three to four times, and after the fourth shampoo, rinse again for a minimum of 10 minutes, which sounds crazy, but I just followed the instructions since it stressed how important it is to rinse longer for better results. Lastly, I had to use Color Oops to see how it compared because a lot of us have tried that and even though it smells like rotten eggs, it definitely works. I only chose removers that are ammonia free and bleach free and this one also removes permanent and semi-permanent hair color and takes 20 minutes as well so I made sure to mix this and the previous one at the same time so they could both process for 20 minutes while the first two have no time limit. This one also requires a one-to-one -one ratio, so I just mixed both parts together and massaged it throughout my hair, making sure everything got equally saturated like the other sections, and this is how much was left in the bottle when I was done. 20 minutes later, I rinsed everything out of my hair and you can already see the color coming out. You can also tell that I had different colors and some banding throughout the growth of my hair, which makes sense because I'm always bleaching and dyeing it. So the goal is to get out as much as possible and then deal with the banding afterwards. Then I rinsed it for a very long time, like they pretty much begged me to. I used my palm olive dish soap all over my head with warm water to wash out and help strip the color since this is a method known to fade out hair color gently. It does make your hair dry for a second, but it can be fixed with conditioner at the end. And I did three rounds of this, like the recommendation, and then went in with some real hair care products that are good for damaged hair. And I absolutely love the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate line. So I started with the shampoo and really got all up in there. 
and then I rinsed my hair for a while like the instructions made me and then towel dried my hair and used the K18 leave-in molecular repair hair mask that every stylist on TikTok is obsessed with and pretty much forced me to buy it and they virtually stole my wallet if we're being real but I squeezed out two pumps of that and rubbed it between my hands for a while until it turned white. And don't skip this step because this is how you're supposed to use it for best results. Then I spread it out on my damp hair. I used a little more just in case. And then you have to leave this in for four minutes before doing anything else. And then I applied my conditioner and the African Pride Olive Miracle Leave-In Conditioner since the color strippers make your hair dry, especially the second two which are the more aggressive too. So this is how it turned out and looks while it's dry. And you can see on my right side that the color has faded a bit, but still has a lot left. And that's because the vitamin C and ion treatments are a lot more gentle and also less drying. My ends are cooler toned because I had a blue a while ago and there is a bit of banding from bleaching my roots at various increments. Ideally, I would do the same process on each section again, but this already took like six hours. So I decided to go over everything one more time time with the leftover product from the Power Tools Color Out system since that was one of the stronger ones and I think maybe it's also a tiny bit less drying than Color Oops but it's really hard to test that so do not quote me on that. I started on the side that has more dye left and worked my way over to the other side and this is how it looks after doing one more round. It's gotten out so much of the red compared to the beginning and my curls are all still curling. Next, I decided to work on banding, so I used bleach with an extremely low volume developer and just applied it to the areas that needed lifting and weren't as blonde underneath. Once that was done, I washed it out and then bleached my root using the method in my most recent root bleaching video, which you should definitely watch if this is something that you do, especially if you have curly hair because it is by far the best method I've ever come up with. I'll put a link to that video along with all the products used so you can easily find them. And I am stunned, shocked, throwing up and crying at how my hair still feels after getting all that red out, which is a really hard color to remove. I'm so glad my curls are still intact and I hope this video helps you pick out the right hair color stripper for you. Also keep in mind that every color is different and if it's an easier color to remove like yellow, I would go with something like the vitamin C treatment and you can also use that treatment and do several rounds to get out a color more gently that's more stubborn to remove. If you want your hair to stay light, you could use a toner, but this was the perfect canvas for my next color combination, which was this beautiful lavender with a pink money piece and it turned out looking so even and beautiful. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.